Hello, hello, hello. Uh, yeah, what's up, everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to the Punk Rock Review. I have not showered yet. i am just got to... Dude, y'all are going to believe this. Okay, so yesterday morning, I got up and I drove from Houston, Texas, Magnolia, whatever, to Dallas, Texas. I watched the NoFX Final Texas show. I filmed it all. It is being uploaded to the channel. Um, woke up this morning, went to a record store, then I drove back home. I'm doing this live stream right now, and then I'm going to go drive back into Houston to go film the Sexter, Sister Wives Sex Strike show with Cheshki from Co-Defendants, uh, and then I'll put up that footage, hopefully have some photos and things. I met uh, Elvis from Left Alone, the Co-Defendants fellas yesterday, got to hang out with them for a minute. But this video is more or less just to talk about my experience at the show. I had a great time. It was a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, man, it was it was a blast. So if you're enjoying this content, and you like my channel, please show me some love. Give me a thumbs up, a little little subscribe. Trying to hit 5K by the end of this month. I think we can do it. Uh, I got the um, second installment to the punk street punk series coming. Hopefully by the end of the week. I'm not 100 percent sure, but let me show you guys what I picked up at the show. I got a, I got a lot of cool stuff. It was man, I had to buy a couple of shirts. Hey, what's up, Michael? I ran into Michael. This is Michael from Poppers. Ran into him uh, at the show. It was a good time, man. But uh, I filmed it. Y'all are going to believe what happens at the end of the video of my, where I put the, I filmed the, the set. When I upload that, just watch till the end. Dude, heck yeah, you're going to, to California? That's dope. All right. I got a bunch of stuff, not just no effects gear. So let's start with, uh, they had a couple of record stores that were represented there, and I picked up a few things. So we'll start with some records. Some of the stuff is for my store. Some of it's for me. Actually, I'd probably say the, the bulk of it is for me. This was a selfish purchase trip. I don't get to do this kind of stuff very much. Uh, I did not have a copy of Forever by Cox Bar. I do now. And then I also got a copy of The Last Gangs LP because I couldn't remember if I had it, but I know I don't have it at the store. So if I do have a copy, I'll just take it to the shop. They had, a, they had some good stuff there, man, some good prices. Uh, this Balzac record I picked up, 2002 Japanese Press Red and Green Vinyl. This is pretty scarce, and I remember them being either cool or desirable, and I couldn't remember which. And for the price tag, I just snatched it up. Uh, let's see. Obviously, you can see what I got. Ooh. Ooh, I don't want to put that on there. It's my phone number. Okay. Dude, I got this PLF uh, record. Are you kidding me, dude? I wonder if this is, is this opened? It is. Okay, I wonder if it's colored. Uh, Devious Persecution and Wholesale Slaughter. Let's go. Excuse me. Not the kind of band I would typically listen to, but I do like the PLF. Um, this is on black vinyl. I need to rebag these and get them all prettied up. Let's see what else did I get. I'm trying to run through these kind of quick. I don't have a lot of time. Oh, dude. Adrenochrome. Uh, this is some of that, like, French-style dark wave stuff. I think these dudes are from the U.S., though. I'll have to do an album breakdown on this one. But I listened to a bit of it, and it was really good. And then a couple of things that I was recommended while I was in the, in the booth hanging out. Oh, check it out. I got... Uh, Locked and Loaded. My dad had bought me this record before he passed away uh, on CD. And this is one of my favorite... Uh, well, it's my favorite album by the Roma Kinsey's, like, just hands down. Honest Dawns. Man, I used to order from them with, like, mail order. Like, I wonder if this is black vinyl. This is, like... This is, like... I'm really excited to have this one. I may have to... Yeah, okay, black vinyl. Oh, dude. I'll, dude, this is just an OG. This might be like an old pressing. I I was shocked when I saw this one on the on their wall. They had like a tent set up with a, with a wall of records. It was, it was pretty cool, man. That was a really great show, too. I'm uploading the footage tonight. Michael, you going to go out to Trip 6? Uh, there's another band called Chin Chin Cry in Vain. It's like female power pop, pop punk. Dude, this stuff was good. The girl at the booth recommended this based on the stuff I was picking out. And so I just listened to a couple of tracks and uh, thought I'd take a chance on the LP. Uh, you know, the old school way of record shopping. People don't do that anymore. Uh, and then I saw this and I couldn't freaking believe it. I was been, man, I was so, 
slant i can't remember where they're from they might be korean they're from asia somewhere hold on let me let me pull it up i've talked about slant on the show before let's see but i've got one of their seven inches and i've been looking for this uh oh they are korean okay yeah south korean so this is a korean like hardcore band with a female singer they're so good i've been looking for this for so long oh i cannot believe i got a copy of this when they had it like in hand i it blew my mind hey if you guys are watching this please give us a like dude help us get this into the algorithm i really need the help um it's a community man we got it we got to help each other out and also throw some stuff in the comments man okay so i ran into elvis from a band called left alone i i'm a huge huge fan of that band and he had a bunch of stuff set up there and we got to talking and I was picking things out and I was the only guy that knew what the thing was that I'm about to show you guys so he had some records there that he was like oh he's like you're the only person that knows what these are and I'm sure there's other people there that knew but nobody was the people that knew weren't looking at the records because uh yeah this is this is crazy are you freaking kidding me dude devil's brigade vampire girl what have you done lately? Ride Harley Ride. You know Devil's Brigade is a rancid side project. There was, I think there was two of those, and I grabbed both of them because I'm a record slut. Let's see. Oh, dude, this, this oh, y'all are going to trip when you see what I got. Okay, I picked up RKL, Keep Laughing. Uh, I don't own this. I thought I should. I've slowly started getting into RKL over the past, like, maybe year. I don't know about them. So, uh, American Psycho, Misfits, first Misfit record I ever personally owned was this one. Um, speaking about like like vinyl, I bought my dad got me this when I was really young. I don't know what year. This is probably like a repress, I would think. But I just haven't had it in a very long time. It's kind of kind of scarce. Uh, this I got for the shop. People always asking for Nirvana stuff, so I picked this up. I put off No Effects way too long, and now I can't see them. Oh, that's unfortunate, bud. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, I got one more of those. Uh, oh, Necromantic's Dead Bodies, dude. Let's go. That's what I got. I got Necromantic's Dead Bodies. I got uh, Devil's Brigade. And then I bought one more Devil's Brigade record. Yeah, this one right here. I know I bought two Devil's Brigade albums. This one here. Good old Matt Freeman on the bass. And these are, uh, dude, number 53 of 775. Super low number. Like, this is definitely staying with me. Ooh! And it's on red vinyl. Like, translucent red. Look at that. Bro, I could see you. This is so dope. Ooh! That Necromantics record is probably valuable. Wait till you see this next thing that I got, though. What's up, Julie? Yeah, I, uh, I'm going to a show tonight. I, I came back in from Dallas, and I was going to just do this merch haul video, and then I'm going to do a live stream tomorrow night doing music and stuff, because I don't have a lot of time today, so I just wanted to hang out for a few minutes and say what's up. I was wondering if you were going to jump on. I almost texted you, but I didn't want to uh, bother you while you were packing up at work or whatever. Oh, yeah. That's right. I got two of them shits. <laughs> this one's number 50. Oh, that's so crazy. Dude, this is wild. There's some scuffing on the back of the jacket on this one, but the records are supposed to be in pretty great shape still, according to Elvis. I asked him to do the show. He wasn't really interested. So if for some reason Elvis sees this, man, it was nice talking to you, bud. Uh, yeah. Oh, dude, check this out. I've never seen this before. This is a three LP record. It's, he said it took him like two years to get this put out. But it's got, dude, Anti Flag, Interrupters, Left Alone, The Phenomenots, Death March, Inspector, Mad Sin, Big D and the Kids Table, Street Dogs, The Bunny Gang, Hall of Ghost, The Scotch Bonnets, I don't know them, Manic Hispanic, Authority Zero, Noise, The Reverend, uh, the Reverend Peyton's Big Damn Band, I never heard of them before, Brick Top. Dude, the Tossers, uh, Rat City Riot, uh, Coffin Cats, The Forgotten, all these bands, Far From Finish, Kevin Seconds, Mustard Plug, 
uh, this is ridiculous. Death by Stereo, Voodoo Glow Skulls, um, The Howlers, The Briggs, The Last Gang, Total Chaos, uh, The Mahones, Los Creepers, uh, The Black Rose, The Tokyo Brave. What is going on, dude? And they're all covering rancid songs. Like, this is the kind of stuff that when I find it out in the wild like that, I lose my mind. I, I paid a lot for this. Like, more than you would think, I think. But, uh... Legit amazing, amazing, amazing stuff. And then I got three more things. Okay, he had CDs there for like a real good price. He also was giving away these bags. If y'all go to the No Effect shows, if you go to the Smellvis Records tent, uh, he'll he'll give you a, a bag. He, I, he had to hold my bag for me because it was really heavy. So that's why my name was on it. But he, I have another one that doesn't have my name on it. Uh, I'm, I might actually just bleach that out. But um, yeah, these whole records. So, anyways, it's cool. It's cool. Okay. So, I got the Hooligans CD, B-Sides and C-Sides, and I got a copy of Checkers and Plaid on CD uh, because I don't own it on disc. And B-Sides and C-Sides, I think I'm going to do a uh, video covering the whole record. Dude, Far From Finished is so good. I love that band. But I think I'm going to do a video, because they re-released this on vinyl like a week ago. And I'm, I don't think I'm going to do a video. I am doing a video breaking down each song and where they came from and reviewing it and then giving like my top three. What do you guys think about like a giveaway? Maybe if the video gets to, I don't know, 1,500 views. I'll give away the CD or something. I don't know yet. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. You'll know because when I... Just watch the video because whenever I come up with the idea, it'll be in the video. But uh, that was a great deal. So I grabbed it. was thinking about doing a giveaway. I already have one of these. So, um, But yeah, but then the final thing that I got, he pulled it out of his like personal stack. He had some stuff set behind the counter. And he was like not really sure he wanted to sell it. But I was buying all this stuff. And he was like, hey, uh, first thing I bought was that rancid was rancid was the split album no effects it's okay it's a weird song choices though i'm doing a video of the, the no effects live version of radio because they played it last night but uh he goes hey man based on your back patch i have something you might be interested in but i've only got the one and it's not cheap but if you want it i'll sell it to you and i was like okay what's up and this fool goes over and pulls out this it's a rancid and out come the wolves. It's four, I think a four or five. One, two, three, four, five, seven inch records from that box set that they did. But this is like a special one with a out come the wolves sticker on it. And it's on white vinyl. I have no idea if it's valuable or not, but it's not for sale or trade. This is mine. Things come on B sides and C sides. What song is that? I don't recognize the name of that one. Let's see, what number is that? Man, this album's got some great music on it, though. I'm so glad that... Oh, Things to Come. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Uh, I'm super glad this is streaming, finally. It needs to be, right? Um, okay, we're almost done here. I gotta show you a couple shirts. They were doing this, like, art thing and i don't know who this fella is that did the art but i loved the the print and the girl was uh really nice and she's like hey I'll, I'll buy you a print and whatever i don't really know why she bought it for me but it wasn't cheap she's like pick out any print you want and i of course went with tim armstrong uh i'm gonna frame this and put it on the wall in the office in here i've got so much rancid stuff in here it's kind of ridiculous but <laughs> i love it i love it Rev Peyton is fire. Saw them on New Year's Eve. Awesome. Love, love, love the Olympia cover. Okay, okay. I'm interested, man. I'm going to have to get into that disc and jam it later. I may play that one in, in my house, like, ASAP. I don't think I'm going to play the vinyl. I got the CD. I think the vinyl's going to stay shut because, you know, if it gets damaged. Jason Adams, Burning Body, Burn, Create, Destroy. Okay, Jason Adams is the one who did. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
I didn't know what this said, but it's now that I know his name, that's clearly what it says. But it's signed by Jason Adams. I'm going to get on Instagram and, and message him and, and let him know I have a print. See if maybe he wants to do the show or something. That'd be cool. What's your feelings about different colored albums and picture discs instead of traditional black? I hate black records. They're boring. Picture discs, like, objectively sound bad. They're, they're, they're bad quality, so I don't like them. Or at least they used to. I don't know if they still do, but I know for a fact that they used to be bad. Um... So I don't like picture discs, but colored records, I prefer them. My first album on my on my label drops in like a few weeks on 31 Records, the vinyl. It's going to be amazing. It's going to have special stuff with it. Stickers, uh, pressing cards, and there's only 100. And so, um, and then 31 of the 100 are going to have like fold out silk screen covers. So, uh, and it's good stuff. So just, you know, and it's splatter. It's a splatter record. It's beautiful. But um, I'll be making a little video and a commercial for that, too. But I love colored vinyl. Black vinyl's cool. I'll take black vinyl. Most of a lot of these are black vinyl. But I, I, I prefer colored vinyl. Okay, I got, I got a couple of shirts, and then I got a couple of boxes to open up to show you what I picked up. I don't even know what's in there. One of them is from the dude that did the uh, cover art for the bullshit detector thing. I don't usually buy non-black t-shirts, so, but I've been on a roll lately, so I bought another non-black shirt. I just thought it was gnarly, dude. This is a really great shirt design. And I got the final, final tour. I liked the, the, it was like kind of minimalist on the front. I'm from Houston, homie. And then I bought from uh, Smelvis. I picked up another shirt. I got uh, the Unseen. And then I bought oh, that's what it was. I knew I bought another one. I bought another. I bought a Left Alone shirt. Turns out I already have this exact same shirt, so now I got two. <laughs> but it was like 15 bucks or something, so. But then I got my wife this one. And so, what does it say in the front? And thanks for all the shows. I feel that, but then on the back of this one, it's got all the tour dates and stuff on it 1983 through 2024. That's crazy. I should have got one of these for me, but I just, I, I, man, I spent so much money, obviously, right? Um, <laughs> Cheshki gave me some stickers, codefinite code stickers. I put one in the bathroom for the kids. I have Iron Maiden self-titled on Picture Disc. It sounds awful. It was the first time that, that Iron Maiden did something like that. Yeah, dude, Picture Discs sound terrible. I forgot to say, I went into a record store, and I found a few things. Not much. Mostly stuff for the shop. Uh, speaking of Iron Maiden, I got Number of the Beast on cassette. Rust in Peace on cassette. This is for the shop. Smash, literally right now, is celebrating its 30th anniversary. So I got picked up Smash because it was in really good shape. And I got Social Distortion, Somewhere Between Heaven and Hell. I used to have this on cassette, so I, I had to pick this up. This is the, I'm keeping this one. Um, and I bought a ring because I told my wife when I found a plain stainless steel ring, ring somewhere... I would go ahead and grab one up, and they had one that was plain, and it just happened to be my ring size. So I bought that, so then bitches leave me alone. <laughs> um, and then I got uh, two CDs. I got Ace of Base and Man of War. <laughs> like, what are we doing? Uh, obviously, these are not for me to keep, but um, yeah, dude. Ace of Base, for some reason, is like super popping right now, but... Uh, yeah, it's really strange, isn't it? <laughs> oh, those boxes. Let's see what's in the boxes. What's in the box? I got a lot of stuff for the shop next week. Oh, dude. Actual, real cassette from 1996. Let's go. Offspring or Green Day? What about them? Uh, if I had to pick one to listen to, I'd pick Offspring. But as people, Green Day. Hold on. I'm going to go out to the, out of the room. Is Parker Parker P home? Is that what's happening? 
Mommy must be getting home. Mom must be getting home. Okay, let's see what is in the the boxes. It's just two small boxes. Let's go open Sean's first. Sean Condon. Shout out to uh, Sean and his artwork out there. He's doing some big things, and I really appreciate that guy's artwork. Destruction by definition. It's such a good record, man. Man of War are cheesy. That's what I like about them. Warriors of the world. Now, anytime I find cool, like, hard-to-find metal stuff like that out in the wild that's for a reasonable price that I don't have to mark up a lot, I, I, I buy it so I can have it at the shop. It's not about margin. It's, it's about having available stuff that people want, you know? <clears throat> oh. Bro. Let's go. Okay. Ooh. Dude, this is going to be so dope. I'm, man, I'm so excited. I love getting records in the mail. Oh. Dude. Speaking of colored vinyl, look at that. It's pretty. Dude, what are we going to do tonight, guys? Well, i got to go to a show in a little bit. I'm about to go make some food and then get ready to go to the show. But after that, we're going to listen to some vinyl. Okay, check out what he sent me. I knew this was coming. Ooh, what's in here? Ooh. Okay. I love tapes, so... Sorry, I know this video is getting kind of long, huh? Tomorrow night, we're going to do a bunch of music, so come back for music tomorrow for sure. After I go do the solar eclipse thing with my kid, that's my priority for tomorrow. Oh, snap. Yes, dude. Okay, Orphan Train is this one. Oh, I like this. Dude, look at this. It's like this like sort of see-through material. That's dope I need to see if I can get some of that made with my label oh this is rad and then uh, some oil change tapes dude this is Sean nailed it with this bro what are we doing my my uh record haul for the spring is gonna be crazy because y'all have y'all will have seen some of this stuff but the amount of records I get every month are bananas check this out Oh, I know what I'm wearing tonight. No, maybe not. Maybe. Oh, dude, Sean, he made this shirt. Look at that. Oh, oh, man. Dude, I love when I can get swag like that for a reasonable price. And he sent me one of these, bro. That red on cream. Oh, my goodness. I might be releasing this over here in the U.S. They got a guy doing it in, in Europe. But uh, if you haven't heard this uh, digital malaria yet, you should go check it out. It's... It's like uh, Johnny Notebook and Devo mixed together, kind of. Really good, like, zany, electro, synth-punk stuff. And it's really, really good. All right, let's see what this other box has got in it real quick. And then I'll let you guys get out of here. Man, no effects show was so fun. Oh, man, I got, I got, I got two videos coming. I got a video of the hotel room I stayed in because it was so incredibly sketchy and then i filmed the entire set for no effects um with one mishap but uh so i got a couple of videos coming for that and then also i'm filming the sets tonight for sister wife sex strike and chesky so keep an eye out for that what is this oh <gasps> yes oh okay this band dead year okay hold on let me I buy so much music. <sighs> Hold on, let me let me let me make sure I know exactly where they're from. They're not from here. Where did I buy their stuff from? Yeah, Germany. They're a German. I don't. <sighs> they're a German punk band, but they have this. Europe is like. I think I might make a video about. I don't even think I'm going to make a video about France right now because in the last like five years, France has had a punk rock renaissance and I'm going to have to mention some bands from uh, Italy, Germany, um, mo mo mostly France, but uh, a lot of really great music is coming out and I got two copies of this Dead Years. Uh, it was real limited and it was hard for me to find them. So when I got it, when I found somebody that had a couple, I bought both of them. I don't know if it's on. Oh, it is on. I think it's on clear. Ooh, my kid's home. So I'm about to get off of here and go see my kiddo. 
Yeah. Oh, it's like frosty. Yeah, this is rad. Hey, hold on. I'm on a live stream. Give me a second. Okay. But, uh, you want to come say hi, Parker? Sure. What's up, buddy? I missed you. We're, hold on. Hold on. Hold on, pal. Give me a second, please. Hold on, big guy. I got you. I got you. I heard you got some new dinosaur shoes. What? <laughs> a Jurassic foot? Yeah, I got the biggest one. You got the biggest one? Yeah. You're crazy, dude. Come here. And it light up. Yeah. I missed you. Yeah, I guess. Mm-hmm. <laughs> say, look right there. And say hi. Hi. Can I have a cheeky kiss? No. I love I you. I need another one. You want another one? Yeah. This side? Mm. Want to do nosies? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Other side. Mwah. Thank you. I missed you, buddy. Hi, thanks. I'll be at the No Effect Show and SLC next weekend with Teenage Ball Rocket. Ooh. Yeah, that's a, that's a lineup, bro. I would much rather have seen them play with Teenage Ball Rocket because I didn't care about any other band on the lineup except Cat Bite, and I missed them because, uh, well, they played at like 2 o'clock. But, um, yeah, it was a great show. I had a lot of fun. Parker, are you ready to go get something to eat in a minute? Yes, yes. Okay, say bye. Bye. Okay, get out of here, buddy. I'll be in there in a second. Hey, I need oh that green dino. I love you. I missed you. Love you. Give me like two seconds. I'll just wrap up. Okay. Crazy kid. But, uh, yeah, so that's all the stuff that I picked up uh, while in Dallas. And I only spent like $600. No big deal. <sighs> Bro, tripping. I have got to pay that back. It's all, most of it's on credit card. On half of it, like half of it. I don't like spending all my cash. I gotta have some kind of cash just in case something happens, you know, emergencies. But, uh, hey man, this is a lot more fun than I thought it'd be. A lot longer than I thought it'd be. I was expecting it to be like a seven or eight minute video, so. But, uh, shout out to everybody out there that's watching my channel. I appreciate it. I got recognized twice at the show yesterday by two people I've never met. I get, no, 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 three times, because at the end of the night, somebody walked up to me with a group of people, and they were asking if I did YouTube, and they're like, I knew that was you. It was weird, man. It was awesome, though. Anybody that ever wants to say hi to me, if you see me out in the public or whatever, dude, come say what's up. I ain't tripping. I ain't nobody. I'm just some guy on YouTube. It is cool, though. It makes me feel like I'm doing something right, you know? So, but I am going to go eat. I'm starving. I need to get ready for the show. i got to leave in about an hour, so I'm going to go spend some time with the old, old ball and chain. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, this was fun. No effects, uh, no effects, uh, set is done, whatever you want to call it, loading. I'm going to upload it onto the channel now. So, yeah, see you guys later, man. Have a great day, everybody. Enjoy your week. I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. I'll do a live stream tomorrow with music, and I've got podcasts and videos coming. So, keep, uh, stay tuned. Keep your ears tuned. Whatever. I don't know how to say it. I don't know, man. I'm tired, hungry.